Hey everyone, so I have another 90s kids show to talk about today and this is Bear in the Big Blue House and I loved this show. It used to be on Milkshake in the mornings before I went to school. It was like the Hoops, then High Five and then Bear in the Big Blue House and Roly Poly Roly and so on and then Oswald. Yeah, I'm getting all nostalgic. So it was on in the morning and I watched this every morning on Milkshake and I think it also was on Playhouse Disney um, but at that age I didn't have Playhouse Disney. And this actually first aired in 1997 and I think they continued to make it until 2007 as far as Wikipedia goes. You guys know Wiki's not always correct. Um, but there's 65 episodes in total. And this is such a fantastic show. At the beginning you have this big blue house at the beginning of the titles. And it looks like it's a dollhouse when they open it. So it, it, it adds to the imagination of the kids how you can have this entire world and all these characters coming to life in what looks like a doll's house. So that's, that's a pretty cool aspect. And then you have all these characters, and I'll go through the characters first of all, I'll give you an indication of the types of stories that could be covered. So the main character is Bear, Bear in the Big Blue House, and he is a big bear. Um, he is the sort of father figure, the adult of the house and the rest of the kids. He's a really weird character, he's cuddly, he's not like a grizzly bear, he is really nice and sweet. Um, then you have Luna, who is the moon, and we meet the moon at the end of it, and he sometimes goes up to Luna if he has problems and things. And I love the moon, she is so, so sweet. I'm a bit obsessed with the natural moon, like the moon in the sky right now, um, I think. Um, so I love the moon character, yeah. Then you have Tutter, who is a little blue mouse, and he lives inside the hole in the wall. And he's got his own little his own little house within the house. Um, he's got this sweet little voice. He sometimes has problems understanding like why something can't happen. The same with all the other characters. Like if Bear says, but we can't do that, Tutter will be like, but why? I want to. And Bear will have to explain it. Tutter also brings in secondary characters. You have Grandma Flutter, um, Cousin Titter, um, and all these other sort of similar named characters which will uh, co come in in occasional episodes, but Tutter is in every episode. And um, then you have Pip and Pop, the um, purple otters. They're about that big, and they are absolutely gorgeous. My favourite thing they do, because there's one episode where they're quite self-pitying, and <laughs> I've watched this episode over and over again, and I do this impression all the time. Now, it, it is a really poor impression, but they go, Whoa, where's sauce? Because they're really upset. I told you it was bad. And they sit and go, Whoa, where's sauce? Oh, dear. And it's it's sort of like self-pitying, and it's, it's kind of funny. And then you have Ojo the bear, who is a little bear cub. Now, I'm not too sure of that bear cub's relationship with the bear. I don't know if it's his son. They don't seem to have a father-son relationship. Um, but he is a really cute cub. He likes to make tents and play games and, you know, just generally have fun. And then you have Trilo. Trilo is a, bl a, a, a blue, a green, um, now I didn't know what he was until last night. He is a green lemur, apparently. He looked, he reminded me a bit like of a raccoon, but um, he's a lemur. And he has a really weird, annoying, really high, really weird voice. But I do love him, he is a fantastic character. He's like the sweep of Bear in the Big Blue House, the suit and sweep, the sweep of Bear in the Big Blue House. That, well, that's what he reminds me of. Um, and in each episode, they basically go through different problems, like they may learn about something else, like food or something. And um, like if, if he says you've got to eat your veg, he'll be like, um, Ojo will be like, why? And then he'll say, why you have to eat your veg? And different problems, like one of them's missing a friend, or just generally everyday problems that children go through. Because all the characters are kids, apart from, well, apart from Grandma Flutter and things. But they're all mainly kids apart from Luna and Bear. Um, but a lot of it's learning through song. And there are so many great songs in this. You have the Welcome to the Blue House. Do 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 do. Hello from the Small Mouse. I really love that song. I know it word for word. I popped it on YouTube yesterday and I was singing along to it. And I was like, I know this word for word still. I must have watched it so many times. Um... Yeah, and then you have the goodbye song, you know, the goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Do, 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 do. I love that song so much. You sing it every day, the moon and the stars and the big blue house. Yeah, and then you have the bear cha-cha-cha. I can't remember all the words to the bear cha-cha-cha, but it goes cha-cha-cha. And I really love it. It's really lively and quite fun. There are loads of other songs as well, but my favourites are Welcome to the Blue House, the Goodbye Song and the Bear Cha-Cha-Cha. Um... So the, a lot of it is singing and dancing. It really does wake you up in the morning. I would have been about eight when I first started watching this, I think. And it is really good. Most of the episodes are on YouTube, so if you haven't seen it, um, obviously I don't necessarily think you have to sit and watch them all to enjoy it. But even if you just go and watch one or two, I think you will really, really love it. The characters are so full of life. They're all completely different with their own different character traits. And they are, they're so good together. Like, the otters mainly live in the garden and things. 
um, the garden is beautiful, the bear in the big blue house garden. There used to be toys, I think they're still on e um, eBay and things, the bear in the big blue house, doll house with the characters. Um, it'd be quite nice to own that. It wasn't the biggest, it wasn't the most like successful show ever. I don't think my brother and sister even know what it is now, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it's not really on that much, I haven't seen it on ever, but it probably is still on Playhouse Disney occasionally. But if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. I promise you that you will love it. Um, yeah. Please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts on this. My apologies for the random singing in this video. I just get so attached to these songs because they're so they're such a massive part of my childhood. I really do love them. Yeah. Um, so please feel free to leave comments and things. Any requests for any more 90s nostalgia shows, um, please let me know. I have a list still. I counted them the other day and there's about 200 of them there. And if you've noticed, I do one 90s nostalgia video a week. Sometimes too if I'm short on video ideas, but you know I have a massive list of videos like about 500 videos So I'm never short. No, I'm short in height. I always am, but I'm never short of video ideas And um, so I generally do one 90s nostalgia video a week That means I'm gonna be here for the next four years doing 90s videos if I wanted to cover every single one So it's gonna take me a little while and um, but please feel free to leave comments and things and I will see you all next time. Bye